these are plugs that I would be glad to do when we're not about to go into a game. Mm -hmm. I think they might be just uh, doing a button check here. I'm not sure. No, they're going right into it. Oh, I, I didn't even see the fist bump. My goodness. But yeah. All right, so uh, Mr. E and, uh, and, Prof and the professor of all e people. PDA Professor MGW. No, yeah, not mad letters. <laughs> mad letters. Longest tag versus this Mr. E. <laughs> and then just the three, like in the middle of it. That, <laughs> yes, that is... Uh, I mean, uh, obviously, a, a good friend of a uh, good friend of ours, uh, representing the uh, representing the Empire, representing the Deadly Alliance, <laughs> is uh, nothing wrong with that. But Mister E yes, holds uh, holds no regard to any kingdom other than her own. <laughs> trying to prove so at final destination here, however, a more than formidable Greninja. There's a few of those in New York now. Yes, indeed, one of the many that trained with uh, people like Venia and other members of DEA as crews. These Greninjas are getting better as they come along and doing their work in the city. As shown here as uh, Professor MGW has made it to winner's quarters of this pool against Mr. E. Now, Mr. E is no stranger to this matchup, as he's always seen this before, playing against Venia, sometimes yeah. Odyssey. It, it, it's so strange. This is just how full of killers New York is, <laughs> that you've seen Mr. E versus Venia on so many an occasion, but it could be in winner's side, it could just be in the middle of loser's side. Mm -hmm. You have no idea. That's just how commonplace it is to see. That's That really is just how uh, just how well dispersed the talent is in uh, New York, and uh, you see it often in New Jersey as well. I mean, Tweak's not winning locals for free. He's getting <laughs> challenged by Jackal. He's getting challenged by Venya. Just goes to show how strong Tri-State is and how... Uh, Evenly, uh, evenly distributed. The talent level is here in this uh, yeah, wonderful so. region of ours. We're, we're always grinding out here in New York with our locals, our sessions, like Wi-Fi, even. <laughs> like, Absolutely. I mean, Deadly Alliance hosts their own stuff over in Brooklyn. Definitely. I mean, go out and support them as well. And uh, MG Dub looking to make a mark of his own. Not gonna kill. Look to do so with that shadow sneak, getting Mr. E off of the stage at the very least, but not in the position to follow up. Mr. E makes him pay for it. And he'll continue to do so here. The stage control is the name of the game with uh, most of the Fire Emblem characters, but it's going to have to be doubly so for Mr. E. Yeah, who will... the water. Yeah. Drink that, your water, folks. That happens for... Oh, I mean, you uh, got water boarded, seem more like, and then... Uh, that's going to... I just, sorry about that, Devin. Uh, Oh, man. Forward air going to send MG Dub back a little bit, and you're going to reset to neutral. However, it's going to be MGW approaching a lot, and Mr. E swatting him away like Dikembe Mutombo, it seems like. <laughs> but uh, it's part of the dated reference, but nonetheless. Yeah. E, e is really solid when it comes to his button placement and his neutral. Like he, he will outfit to you, and he will just edge guard you for days. He's very good at doing both things. It's a little tough for MGW to get in on. I mean, he's... He's going for those gimps, man. He knows he's going to have to try to cheese one of these stocks out. But Ooh, nice stall. I like that. And honestly, I love those little... Uh, the knowledge of the oh, character being so punish. thorough that you know exactly how they move in the air with every single... That was oh, insane. We don't tech those. That was... I did not... Actually, did we see the red light there? I'm not yeah, sure. I... It, it might as well be because it's so fast and in order to react to is just that something you get to preemptively... Be prepared yeah. for. I don't think MGW that might have been untackable. Yeah. yeah, I don't think MGW was prepared for that. As he went for that downer, expecting it to hit, but he was slightly off, and he got hit by that reversal up B coming from E. E survives, and he's now up a stock. Oh, that's oh my. Yeah, Shake that's my going. Head. Yeah, that's oh. the end of your. Uh, that's the end of your two. stock. That's the end of your stock, buddy. I'm sorry. And then oh. MG Dub. You know he's a he's a solid player. You can't be endorsed by Deadly Alliance without being a, a good Smash player to some extent. However, Mr. E is just unforgiving at times, and uh, just as uh, just as crazy and just as emphatic with his kills <laughs> and uh, with his overall gameplay. Very consistent. Very. Uh, driving force that is always going to show up. He's always going to make the top eight. That's kind of the nature of his character, Ooh, but switch. now he's going to have to deal with the wolf, who Ooh. is a sword character, and you can <laughs> fight me if you think otherwise. I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. I'm more of a... Yeah. Just play wolf. the footsies here. gun, but yeah. Yeah, wolf, that... uh, wolf back air. <laughs> and that gun does have a sword on it, too, so... Yeah. I'm not going to say the scene is honest, but, I mean, we're comparing it to wolf. I don't, I don't mean to editorialize here, <laughs> folks. I'm just going to concentrate on the game. Oh, no tech. Oh. That was 
Quite dam quite good damage coming from E right there. That was pretty good. Yeah, no, I mean it's uh it's already at hundred percent, only thirty seconds into this contest. Reads the roll, gets the grab, and will look for that uh and I mean Mr. E is such a consistent force here in New York, it's kinda hard to imagine that. I mean you really do have to be on another level to top his uh to top him in, in even one set. But Ooh. then to consistently uh, out out achieve his results, it's really uh, no wonder why only a handful of people, I mean, you could probably count them on one hand, right? <laughs> yeah. Have uh, really outplaced him in recent months. Yeah. On he's, the PR. He's, he's a very consistent player when it comes to his play. Uh, it takes like the very top of the top of, you know, like regulars to, to beat him, like VV or Jen or Venia. Yeah. And it goes to show like how well they know him and like how good they are at the game. Uh, MGW, I don't know how often he's played E or has played like a player oh, like E. Oh my god, the timing. he's reacting them! Mr. E, oh, I mean that is... the neutral get up, but he's not gonna kill? Okay. No, I mean, Mr. E's, the most underrated part of Mr. E's game is his defensive play. Oh, I mean, definitely. how he gets back to the stage in order to get back to that neutral position where he can start throwing out those aerials and those safe uh, hitboxes. I mean, that's uh, that's what you have to do when you come to the game. With oh, Lucina, catching the shield. Not quite going to kill somehow. Wow, it's not going to kill. It's very surprising coming from... Oh, no, it's not going to take it. And Good now, choice to side B, but it's going to get punished. Yes, yeah, see here. needs something here. A dash attack, maybe. I mean, he just needs to get oh. whatever he knows can confirm a kill. Because Mr. E, he knows that he's looking for it. And he's counting on MGW oh, to good. overextend. Was looking for the grab there. Maybe uh, not That's expecting MGW to come in as close as he All did. Right. <laughs> Eventually, the back throw will Finally. get the kill, what he was looking for earlier. Ooh, okay. Off stage against E. That's a problem. <laughs> as he's going to like punish you for anything you try to do on recovery. He's waiting. He's like he's waiting for you for the... Oh. Oh, a little bit... A little a little bit slow on the follow-ups right there from MGW. He's going to take the stock right here. No, that's kind of what I'm noticing. Is It's almost as if he's playing Greninja in uh, in many ways, because he's kind of <laughs> counting on that ground speed, but it's just not there with Wolf. That's not what you're that's there risky. to do. It's like you're, you're there for powerful hitboxes that uh, are very uh, very ex use done. very useful to exploit, let's say. But All right, good combo. He's not finding the, the speed on the ground with which to catch that's up to Mr. E. Who is presenting the challenge to MGW is like, you cannot beat me on the ground, and when I get you in the air, you're not coming down <laughs> with any ease whatsoever. Oh. It's gonna take it. Oh, not gonna take it yet. Okay. Very close uh, stock situation from MGW right there. He's put off stage by E, and you know what happens to space, he's off stage, you're gonna get hurt. <laughs> Think we're seeing the shield break again? Uh, or? Oh, that was almost sick. Oh. But. MGW realizing that situation and air dodging out. That forward smash, not gonna take it. Yeah. Gonna take a little more than that to take out Mr. E and trying to read a get up. And I mean, if you're relying on reads this uh, at this point, you oh. only get, you have two stocks to go. You can't really that rely on got that. Him. <laughs> Beautiful though. I mean, hey, you know what? Sometimes you roll the dice and come up with uh, come up with the seven. Oh, All right. good in the hood. Now, Wolf is a, a very solid character when it comes to his fundamentals and spacing, that he can get at least two hits here and bring it back. That's gonna poke shield, not gonna take the stock off. Trying to two-frame with that down tilt, not going to find it. And we do see MGW have And the counter. counter, that was beautiful. That was just, he's already. I mean, he read the, uh, he read his movement all the way through, Mr. E. That is, uh, that was excellent, mm. to be sure. And of course, Mr. E coming out winner side into top 24 perhaps not surprising anyone but the way in which he does it the consistency with which he does it